Back with us now from Senate Judiciary, Marsha Blackburn. Senator, it's a pleasure having you on as well. It's good to see you. Um, Senator, this email we reported on last night. Senator, it's a dramatic accusation. We're checking the provenance of it. Other media outlets, NBC, Washington Post, New York Times, has, has authenticated the Hunter Biden laptop. Now, Hunter Biden allegedly used classified materials to profit off of business deals involving energy and Ukraine. He allegedly emailed his partner in April 2014 before Vice President Joe Biden flew to Ukraine. What's your take on this? Uh, what you are seeing here is a pattern that I'm sure is uh, very unsettling to Biden Incorporated because for years what they have done is to trade on Joe Biden's name. That's what Hunter Biden appears to have been good at doing is saying I'm a Biden, hire me. And that is what you see in this pattern. They talk about building a long-term relationship. They talk about how they can be valuable to Ukraine, to Burisma, to uh, being able to expand their growth. And you know, one of the things that I noticed in it was they even say, go to a 7-Eleven or a CVS and buy a cell phone. Yeah, burner phone. Uh, they were looking to get a burner phone in their hands that they would use to communicate so there would and, not be that tracking. And Senator, the other thing that's coming out is of this email is that Hunter Biden detailed an escalation of Russia's destabilization pushing in Ukraine. Yeah. He also kept saying this, I quote, our contract needs to be done now, not after the upcoming visit of my guy, meaning Joe Biden. That quote, yeah. the announcement of my guy's upcoming travels should be characterized as part of our advice in our work in Ukraine. The contract should begin now, again, not after the upcoming visit of my guy. You keep seeing that over and over again, Senator. Yeah. Some of the documents found at the, ben Pi the Penn Biden Center, the think tank, were related to Ukraine during the Obama White House. That was when Hunter Biden was working at Burisma in Ukraine, and Joe Biden was appointment on Ukraine. Well, and what you're pointing out is why so many people, as they find out that many of these documents, these tranches of documents, deal with China and deal with Ukraine. And so they're right to ask the question, what kind of narrative does this build out? What kind of evidence is this when you when we find out what is actually in those documents, that were those documents that are going to be negative to the Biden family and to Biden Incorporated, or are these documents that are not related at all? But what you do see is whether it's James Biden or Hunter Biden or others of the Biden family, they were pushing to get these contracts done. Why were they doing that? They're pushing it so that they can take credit for it and say, let's benefit, financially benefit from this and from the vice president's visit to the region. You know, Senator, there's also diplomat speak, like the term RU yeah. is short for Russia. You know, what's, what's going on here? I mean, just two months before that email, Hunter Biden had got an administrative discharge from the Navy for cocaine use. I mean, did he get classified information on China? He also talks in the email to your point about, quote, they had assurances when they were working in the Ukraine that the People's Republic of China money would come in first. He talked about working once a month in Beijing. Already they're talking about making money in China in 2014. And it is of concern when you look at the fact that here is a vice president that said he had no awareness, no knowledge, no participation. And then you're reading these emails and you're seeing that there was this awareness and this participation. And it really makes you wonder how closely uh, the trips of the then vice president were coordinated with the trips of his son and Biden Incorporated. We've got CNN, Quinnipiac, ABC polls showing that they do think the president mishandled documents and that they, he should be probed. You know, yeah. Senator, our men and women lay their lives on the line to keep and protect classified information. And, you know, the, it's unseemly that they could have been profiting off it because lo, the closer you look, 
the more grotesque it seems they're cashing in on the president's government job in the Obama White House. Let's watch Senator Ron Johnson and Andrew McCarthy with us last night. Watch this. What's really interesting is this email is now being reported about uh, on April 13th. This is three days before uh, Hunter's business partner, partner Devon Archer, meets with Vice President Biden in the White House before he goes to Ukraine. What it lays out is exactly how the Bidens profited off their family name. It's one of the underreported things about the search warrant that the FBI did on uh, Biden's residence in Wilmington on Friday is that they not only took classified documents out, they took notes out, which is indicative of the idea that Biden was taking notes of classified briefings and classified documents. And notes have a way of turning into emails sometimes. What do you think of that comment? What's the fallout I, of, I of the personal notes? Go ahead. Go yeah. ahead, Senator. What you're seeing is the utilization of those documents uh, to build out what is part of their narrative to build out how they can handle these connections to uh, really kind of lay that pathway for what is anticipated in happening and then making preparations for that for the benefit of Biden Incorporated. We'll stay on the story. Senator Blackburn, thanks got for it. spending time with us tonight. It's good to you see you. You got it. Take care.